I just spent so much money. I think it was about two years ago, maybe one, that I bought my first film equipment, which was this camera and like two tripods, and I've been living with that ever since, so I am so excited to finally have an upgrade. Editing Heather here. I lost a bunch of my footage in the process of exporting. I don't know why this keeps happening, but I'm going to do my best to voice over with the footage I already have, and I'm sorry in advance. Okay, so here's the first box of stuff that I ordered, and we're just going to dive right into it, starting out with this black tin foil that I'm going to be putting over my skylight and my window in my studio, because I usually tape garbage bags to it, and it takes a while and doesn't block the light as well as this hopefully will. Then I got some wireless mics for when I do films with my friends, so I can have them mic'd up for their lines, and the audio will sound a lot better in my films. Now, I did go with the cheaper option between the two mics that were recommended to me, so I'm hoping they still work. The case this is really nice. It's a secure, hard shell. It'll keep everything safe. And I like how everything fits perfectly inside the case. It all has a home. So I got two wireless mics and one receiver. And then here's some cords, some charging cords. And I've got two of these lav mics. And then two of these little fuzzy fur balls that you put on top of your mic when it's windy outside. They're so cute. So the next thing I got was an audio recorder because the camera I use does not accept external microphones, so I needed something to record the audio for me. Now this was the most expensive thing I purchased, but it looks to be good quality. It comes with this huge instruction manual that I'm going to have to read at some point. <laughs> and then it's got a couple little cords and the prize possession itself. I don't know much about audio yet, so I did a lot of research, and based off of what I was reading and watching, this was the best audio recorder for the amount of money I was willing to put into it. Starting with some lights, so I actually went with a cheaper option than what was being recommended to me because I couldn't afford the more expensive lights. The tripod's pretty flimsy, there's a lot of plastic parts, Especially on the base of the tripod, this is all plastic. The instruction manual is only two pages long, which I thought was fun. I do like this little swivel head on the top so I can actually control where the light is going. And it came with some gels, which is also pretty fun. The lights themselves do feel quite cheap. They're very plastic, but I'm confident that they'll get the job done. Then I just got some athletic tape. I believe this tape was actually on Shark Tank, but I got this for the lav mics. I remember using this tape when I was in theater, and it was kind of mandatory if you wanted the mic to stay put, so I had to get a roll or two. So next, I actually got another mic. This one is a shock mic, and it's got this really cute little case to keep it all safe. And this huge page of instructions, and then it's got a cover, a stand, and then a cord to plug it in. And then here's the mic itself. Very nice. I also got some accessories to go with the mic, starting with a shock mount. And then I got a windshield for the mic. so that I can actually finally, finally film outside. That's the end of this voiceover, because now I have some real footage to show you, so we're going to jump over there. I bought this and I'm gonna have to test the lifespan of it and basically you charge this it's a power bank and then it uses that charge to charge other devices so I'm hoping I can use this to charge my lights anywhere I go and hopefully it'll last for a long time so then we've got this this one I am so so excited about I see these all the time on TikTok, and it's basically a light stick or a light wand it's pretty small, so then the idea is you can put it in really any little nook or cranny on set when you're filming, and you can light that up with multiple colors. There's an app that you work with it that you can select any color on the color wheel, and you can do flickering flame, or you can do like lightning strikes, uh, fireworks, you can kind of emulate anything with this. This one just arrived today, and this is the one that kind of got lost overseas on its way to me. Um, the box came pre-opened, which is a bit weird, but I think it's all in intact and this is 
is basically a boom pole that is self-standing because I do most of my films by myself. I'm not going to unfold it here because there is very little room right now and I will go test this outside. And this next one, I'm also not going to try to wrestle out of the bag here. There's not a lot of room for me to work. But it's from the brand Newer, which is like my favorite brand. That's what this tripod I'm filming on is made out of and they just have good prices for like actually metal made products. So this one is actually a tripod that can hold sheets and backdrops and different things that I want either behind me or around me for filming for reflectors and whatnot. Welcome to the great outdoors. My name is Heather and I will be your tripod guide tonight. So let's start with the very first one. First up, we've got this boom pole. I think, I feel like I've set up enough tents over the years that I should be able to do this really fast because like if you can set up a tent you can set up anything you know. Bam. Okay so here's our legs. Okay so this is the top of the pole. The mic would be here and then it would come down to here. So technically this would be at a frame and if I was talking you could hear me right here. I wish this stuck out a little bit further, it only goes like that far, but otherwise, good soup. Alright, next we have our backdrop tripod. So here's the first leg, wow, that's got some wingspan. Where's the other leg? Okay, pause. I think they just didn't send me the other leg because I cannot find it anywhere in my house. So I guess I'm gonna have to return this one. Audio and lighting are still a very new concept for me. So now I'm gonna try to learn everything to the best of my ability. We're gonna do some research, read all these instruction manuals, and test some of the products out. I have now figured this out, but apparently I have the wrong cord for this mic because it clearly can't plug into one of these. So I'm gonna have to order a new piece for this and try the shock mic a different day. And these little wireless microphones are also missing a piece. So I ordered the piece for this, and I ordered the piece for the shock mic, and it's gonna be a couple days before it arrives. I currently have the light stick set up right here, and it is the only light in this entire room, so I'm gonna show you some of the things it can do. So here it is on my phone, the app. We've got the color wheel. Anything on this color wheel you can just pick it and it, it just goes right to the color wheel and you can make it brighter and darker okay here's some pre-built color palettes so we've got like a bright pink um, pale gold this one's nice chocolate light amber this one's good got potential wow pale rose pink light rose petal this is candlelight it's almost really green though this is a firelight do you feel like we're camping right now fireworks wow wow Oh my goodness, you can record something and it'll put that color on the screen for you. There's the salt lamp and I'm going to record that. It's literally the same thing as the salt lamp. Alright, so I've got one more light to go over or two more lights to go over, whichever way you want to look at it. So buckle in, we're going through some more hardcore lighting. 
here is the first test, so I'm going to turn on the first one. If I can find the button. Okay. Number two. Let's dim these down a bit. <laughs> I can't get my camera set properly, so I'm just going to slouch down to you. I don't know. What do you think? I think they're very, very bright for the size that they're at. This is their lowest setting. This is their, their highest setting. Fun stuff. I think these are going to be great. And I still have a long ways to go in terms of learning about all of this new equipment. I am very excited to put what I've learned and what I'm going to learn into my next film that I am making ASAP. Thanks for watching. See you again soon, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And please subscribe if you feel like it. You don't have to, though. Alright, bye.